watching NRA TV with Colian Noir. Hello and welcome to another episode of Seeing Live. I'm Colian Noir. Our first guest comes from the organization called Shoot Like a Girl, and her name is Karen Butler, and she joins us live now. How's it going, Karen? It is a beautiful day in Alabama. A little rainy, but we're good. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful here, beautiful day here How are you in, in doing Dallas today? as well. Oh, I'm doing good, doing good. Um, you know, like I was saying, beautiful day in Dallas. Um, I'll give it about 30 minutes and see how long that lasts. I'm pretty sure it'll change on us here shortly. But um, so tell us about Shoot Like a Girl. So Shoot Like a Girl is a company with a mission to empower women to participate in shooting sports with confidence. And we do that. We have a semi-tractor trailer. Yes, I do own a Freightliner. My mother still can't <laughs> believe it. Uh, but we. Hello. A semi-tractor trailer that has a mobile range inside with a military-grade firearm simulator. And really? ladies can shoot a pistol, rifle, and bow in a safe, controlled environment under the care of an NRA-certified instructor and an archery coach. Oh, wow. That, that's, <laughs> that was a mouthful, and that, that's actually kind of impressive. Um, I mean, so how, so how long has this organization, <laughs> I mean, how long have you been doing this? Yeah. I started in 2008, um, and I really started it because I wanted more women to understand that confidence that comes from shooting. Uh, you as a shooter understand, you, you really can't explain to someone what the self-satisfaction is like when you aim at a target, you squeeze a trigger, you hit where you're aiming. I mean, it's just a great feeling that can translate to all, all areas of your life. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, what? Uh, as far as the catalyst, so why do you think it's so important for more women to get involved in shooting and the shooting sports in general, actually? Hello? Well, well sh shooting sports in general, honestly, it's, it's because of that confidence. So, you know, um, heart disease is killing women faster than anything else right now. And we need to find something to do to relieve that stress. And shooting sports is a great stress reliever, um, not to mention taking responsibility for our personal protection when it comes to firearms use, but then just really the quality time that you can spend with your family at the range, uh, at the archery range, at the firearms range, shooting competitions. I mean, it's just a great sport that um, really anyone can do. It doesn't, it doesn't discriminate against your physical fitness level. Absolutely. And, and so from your experience, what, what is usually the biggest hurdle for a lot of women to get in, to start getting involved in the shooting sports? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's silly really to think about, but we're scared. We're scared mm -hmm. that we're going to get hurt or hurt someone we love. We're scared we're going to look silly trying something new. And then we are scared that we can't. I mean, honestly, that, that fear of can't will drive more women away from something new than anything else and it's it's kind of like you know we you can youtube you know girls who shoot and yeah. you're going to see um people that were dressed inappropriately shooting <laughs> way too powerful firearms for them or they've been handed a slide and not taught how to rack it back so they think they can't and it just gets reinforced and so what we do at shoot like a girl is we break down all those barriers and we show them that they can and if they choose to they they absolutely can shoot Gotcha. So, so in your mind, do you think online videos tend to be more of a, a hindrance, more so than a, a motivator for a lot of women to get involved in shooting? Not when we watch videos like yours. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> but um, so <laughs> considering that, you know, for you, what are the steps that you take? To kind of to kind of serve as the initiative for women to start getting into shooting, is there is there something specialized that you do in order to kind of get women to that comfort point so that they even even entertain the idea of getting involved in shooting? I mean, absolutely. That's what our mobile range is all about. Right gotcha. now, we're on a coast to coast tour. Already this year, we've had over fifteen hundred women shoot with us. And what's really exciting, you know, I just retired from civil service as a civilian in the Army, and uh -huh. I measure everything. And right now we're tracking that about 72% of the women that shoot with us are actually buy, committed to buying a gun. Wow. And it's, it's awesome, but we do that through the, 
this program. I mean, you go into our trailer, it's like a showroom. Yeah. It's comfort level, you know, it's it's um it's yeah. high class and the ladies, the instructors that we have, you know, we put together the greatest team of instructors um, that we can find across the country and we fly them in from wherever their home station is so that we know we're bringing the best instructor to these women and and just really encouraging them sometimes all it takes is a little encouragement saying hey yeah you can do it and look at me i do it I, it's it's easy it's fun if i can you can yeah absolutely now have, have you noticed that there's a particular style that a lot of women tend to gravitate to in terms of different styles of shooting Now, I haven't noticed that. In all honesty, we really are just about giving them the introduction to the pistol and the rifle. I will tell you, though, that when women shoot the M4, we've got an M4 in our trailer. Uh -huh. When they shoot it, they walk out saying, oh, my gosh. I want one of these because they realize how much fun it is. You know, you talk about the pew pew effect. Well, they get yeah. that right in the trailer <laughs> and they, they want to go do that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but, you know, I've always it, it's interesting. You, when you speak, you know, I deal with a lot of women who aren't really, who don't really know much about firearms. And um, when you talk to them initially and you show them, like, for instance, a picture of an M4 or if I actually hand them a rifle, if they happen to be in my place, you know, for them, it's a very intimidating looking rifle. Um, right up until you actually, un until they actually get to shoot it, like you said. Um, and then they start to realize not only that it's an easier rifle to shoot, but then they start to realize there's a there's vast majority of things with respect to firearms that they didn't that they thought they they thought they knew, but they didn't really know. Um, do you tend to see that light kind of flip on when you start teaching some women who who kind of have a preconceived notion of what they think firearms are like, and then kind of when then when you kind of break one mold, you kind of kind of see the domino effect of them saying, okay, well maybe I didn't know anywhere near as much as I thought I knew about firearms or that all the information I had about firearms was completely and utterly wrong. Has, has that ever been communicated to you? Absolutely. I mean, we have loved ones that will bring their wives or their girlfriends up and beg us to introduce them to shooting sports, and they don't they don't want to have anything to do with it. And as soon as they get side aligned to that target and they squeeze the trigger and they hit the target, their whole entire attitude changes. And they might come into the trailer really looking um, so apprehensive, um, but then they walk out with their shoulders back, their head up high, big smiles on their face, um, talking about how much they loved it. What's really interesting for me is when we get those, what I might consider people that aren't so pro gun uh -huh. that come in the trailer and we're able to show them firearms in a whole new light. And we also, um, strategically, we, we, of course I'm telling America now, but we normally don't tell people we shoot 10 rounds at each station. And we do that on purpose so that when, um, conversations about, um, magazine capacities come mm. into play, at least they, these ladies will remember that they shot 10 rounds at shoot like a girl. Gotcha. That, no that, big deal. That is really clever. That is really clever. I didn't think, think about doing that. Um, so considering this is a very, this is a, a, a woman focused shooting group. Um, do you ever get horror stories from some women from like the first time they've ever been shooting where like they went on a date to a range or like the first time their husband tried <laughs> to teach them how to shoot? Every day, <laughs> several times a day. Um, unfortunately, you know, you can't always learn from your loved one and, yeah. um, you know, the. The, there's myths out there that women need to start with really small calibers and really if a woman learns the proper technique to shoot a gun they can they can shoot a, a nine millimeter a 40 cal if they want to um, but we get every day of women you know they oh, oh I have a story for you so we were in Gainesville Virginia <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we were in Gainesville Virginia and I asked this we have a gun counter out with all of our partner manufacturers guns on display you know several of them uh -huh. and so there was a lady who was working with her husband and he was teaching her how to hold a semi-automatic well she had her thumbs crossed behind the, <laughs> the grip and so I saw that and I walked up, you're going to laugh, you're going to die laughing. I saw that and I walked up and I said, excuse me, ma'am, can I just show you how we, you know, teach to hold the yeah. firearm? And so I didn't tell him he was, it was silly or anything. I just went ahead. I showed her the proper way. No kidding. The man looked at me and says, I always wondered why my thumb got bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kid you not. Oh my gosh. Oh man, yeah, we we meant to make this stuff up. <laughs> 
That is yeah, that is hilarious. That is freaking hilarious. Now with <laughs> now there's always been there's always been like this common understanding that one of the biggest problems not biggest problems but the, one of some of the complications that come with uh, with women getting into firearms the first time is the is their ability to rack the slide on a semi automatic gun. Um, how much of an issue is that really? Is it overblown? Is it pretty on point, or is it under underplayed? It's, it's overblown if they're not taught the proper technique. So gotcha. we teach a technique that tactical guys won't love, uh-huh. but it helps a woman learn the skill until she's comfortable enough to do it a different way. And what we do is we have her um, bring the firearm, point in a safe direction close to her body, but we have her push down more than she pulls up with the slide, uh, push down on the firearm and kind of hold the slide still. Uh-huh. That gives her her whole upper body that she's using to c- complete that task. It does the same thing. It just uses in different muscle groups. And um, we find that most women can do that technique as soon as we teach it to them. Um, now, tactical guys, it drives them crazy because we'll also have them adjust their grip to get to the slide lever. Yeah. But it, it's it's a it's a technique to get someone till they shoot enough to get familiar with all those actions and get that strength built up to do it in a in a different way. Awesome, awesome. Well, I thank you very much for joining us today, Karen. Uh, I thank you for the work that you're doing. Um, and <laughs> honestly, I think, it, you know, you saved me, women like you saved me a lot of headache um, because I'm not necessarily the greatest teacher when it comes to teaching women how to shoot, at least I know from experience. Um, but uh, I definitely want to thank you for all that you're doing and thank you for your organization. Hey, thanks very much. We'd go to the range with you anytime. Just just invite us out. We'll be there. Absolutely. Note to self. <laughs> Well, we're going to absolutely you too. Well, we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, the latest on the Hearing Protection Act. 